Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how we can use polling in Microsoft Teams in order to engage and interact with our students in a way that allows them to respond to us while also remaining anonymous so that I can gather information and make sure that my class is following along. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to open up a new meeting in my critical thinking class here and we'll call this uh, our second class. We've already had a, a class previously. I'm going to mute my video here just because I don't need to, to see myself and, and neither do my students. It's just myself here. So I'm going to go into a chat window here and we can chat with the students. We can say things like, you know, good morning and students can chat back to us. But what if I've introduced a concept, I've done a bit of a lecture and I've talked about, say, for example, uh, one of the 21 fallacies or something along those lines. And I want to know whether students have understood what I've said. One of the ways that I often do this, I say, OK, if everybody understood this, give me a thumbs up. And then what will happen is they'll go in, they'll give me a little thumbs up. But you'll notice here that in my case, uh, you'll actually see the name of the person that put that thumbs up in. So I'm responding to myself, so you won't see my name in there because it's just me in this meeting. But if students are responding, you'll actually see their uh, name next to that thumbs up. And that's great for little simple things like, did everybody get that or are you following along? But what happens if a student isn't following along? They're not necessarily going to let me know. They're going to just not respond. Or if they do respond, it might be publicly shown that they don't understand. We don't want that. We want to give them the ability to respond in a way that's a little bit more anonymous. So to do that, what I can do is a Microsoft form. So if I do the at form command, this will open up the Microsoft forms option. And when I click on it, what I'm able to do is I can go in and I can get a quick answer or I can collect real time data. I'll just go to the collecting real time data. And what I can do, and you can do some of these in advance, but I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to say a quick poll here. I'll say, did everyone understand that? And what this is going to do, and I'll, I'll do a yes, I'll do a no. And so by having those in there, I can even do another option somewhat. So the student will either say, yes, they understood it. No, they didn't. Or they somewhat understood it. And I'll say next to this. And now I have this little, you know, form that I have in here. I'll send this into my chat. And now you'll notice that that's gone into my chat window and students are able to now go in and yes, I understood it. They'll submit their vote and I'll get this real time update. So I know what the temperature is of my class, whether students are mostly understanding it, whether it's some more work to be done or whether I'm completely off the mark and I have to maybe reiterate or reinforce some of those concepts. So this is a great way to quickly poll your students. There are other tools out there. For example, there's another tool out there called Poly. I'll just go back here and you have to install this as an application. So if you go into Poly, it's real time data. And underneath here, if I go there, you'll notice that uh, it's a little bit more customized. So underneath here, I can do things like I can put in some questions in there. I can add choice, allow multiple voting. I can choose whether to share, don't share the results with the audience or whether I want to uh, make it anonymous. So you can do a little bit more with this tool. This is the free version. You can also purchase Poly, which gives you even more tools in terms of options and polls. But as a simple tool, this little uh, forms that I can use, which is built right into Microsoft Teams is a great way to get some feedback and understand where my students are at. So I hope you found this little tip helpful. I hope you'll use it in your class to make sure you're engaging with your students and getting feedback in a way that's uh, easy for them to respond to anonymously and also easy for you to understand where you are with the class. Thank you very much for watching. There's some more videos if you want to. And uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want more tips like this. Thanks again for watching.